Unlock your potential. Three signs you're a low vibrational person. Are you feeling stuck in life, constantly battling against a tide of negative energy? The key to unlocking your true potential might lie in recognizing the signs of being a low vibrational person. Picture this. You may be facing hurdles and setbacks, wondering why success and fulfillment seem elusive. The truth is, you'll never experience the life you desire until you address these three crucial signs that indicate a low vibrational state. Now is the time to take charge of your destiny and transform your life for the better. In this eye-opening video, we'll explore the three unmistakable signs that might be holding you back from the success and happiness you deserve. But more importantly, we'll guide you through the actions you need to take to raise your vibrational frequency and attract positivity into your life. Don't let another day pass without understanding these key indicators and taking the necessary steps to elevate your energy. Your future self is waiting for the positive changes you're capable of making. Watch the full video now and embark on a journey toward a higher, more fulfilling existence. The power to transform your life is in your hands. Seize it today. On the journey of life, many of us have moments when we feel out of sync with our inner selves, often described as a low vibrational state. This shared experience offers insights into living with a heavier, less harmonious energy. Now, the fortunate shift into a higher vibrational state has been achieved by countless souls. You might be wondering, how does this transformation happen? The key lies in looking within and consciously replacing negative behaviors with more positive ones. If you want to attract money easily starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientist. These behaviors often serve as clear signs that we are not in tune with our higher selves. To navigate this spiritual journey, it is essential for all seekers to recognize these signs within themselves and choose to ascend towards a higher, more spiritually aligned frequency. Listen carefully, it's important to understand that no one is born with a naturally low vibrational state. Instead, it's our journey through life, and the society we are part of that can, over time, drain our energy and lower our vibrational frequency. Think back to your early childhood, a time when you were just starting to form your identity. Perhaps you recall instances of past trauma or vivid moments when you felt bullied by others. These experiences may have stemmed from how you look, who you are, or even for reasons that seemed unclear. Additionally, you might relate to growing up with a sense of loneliness, as if you were an invisible presence, and no one truly cared or understood you, not even your own family. These early feelings and experiences can gradually transform into negative energy, leading to what we describe as a low vibration. Since those early years, you may have carried a deep sense of shame with you. It's this feeling of shame that often draws toxic individuals, bullies, or negative influences into your life. Your subconscious mind, shaped by these early experiences, may have convinced you that you somehow deserve this mistreatment. Think of shame as a tiny seed. If you nurture it with your thoughts and beliefs, it can grow into a colossal tree casting a shadow over every aspect of your life. The message here is clear. Do not water that seed. You deserve so much better. Now, listen closely. If you aspire to elevate your vibrational frequency, the first essential step is to work on your self-esteem. While it may sound like a cliche, improving your self-esteem is a powerful journey that yields positive results. In the context of our discussion, it's crucial to recognize that certain individuals often find themselves attracting negativity, particularly when they resonate at a low vibrational frequency. This occurrence can be likened to being a magnet for negative experiences. Many people consciously or unconsciously seek acceptance and validation from external sources. This desire for approval can be so intense that it resembles the way a person addicted to a substance craves their next dose. It's important to understand that this intense need for validation is often a result of societal conditioning, something we're programmed to pursue throughout our lives. Many of us embark on a quest for validation from various external sources, family, friends, romantic partners, coworkers, even superiors or bosses. And let me tell you something, 
When the ROM people discover your little secret, they become your masters. In some cases, we may find ourselves unwittingly trapped in a cycle where we feel like the slave of a particular group, be it our family, a close-knit circle of friends, a workplace, or even someone very dear to us. These individuals possess the uncanny ability to manipulate our feelings of indebtedness and guilt, effectively keeping us under their influence. When we hold this mindset, it becomes challenging to raise our vibrational frequency. For those who perpetuate this cycle, they often desire to keep us beneath their control and influence, or to liberate ourselves from the clutches of guilt and manipulation. It's imperative to tune into our inner voice, our inner wisdom. This inner voice often whispers, perhaps this is not normal. Trusting and listening to that inner voice is pivotal, because when you sense that a relationship or situation feels abnormal, you are likely correct in your assessment. People resonating at a low vibrational frequency often find themselves overwhelmed by anger in response to everyday setbacks. When you're in a low vibrational state, any comment or perspective that doesn't align with your own worldview can feel like a personal attack. It can lead you to believe that the world is conspiring against you without recognizing that a common factor in these outbursts of rage is your own perception. You might think that people are intentionally holding you back or acting against you, showing indifference to your interests or business. It's crucial to realize that the root of your frustration often lies in the fact that others aren't conforming to your expectations. This frustration can manifest as irritability, even to the extent that the tone of certain people's voices becomes a source of annoyance. You might interpret their actions as attempts to disrupt your daily routine and provoke you. Living in a constant state of paranoia can be exhausting. It might lead to directing your anger at those who least deserve it, such as your family or loved ones. Here's something that might surprise you. The swiftest path to raising your vibrational frequency and evolving spiritually is to observe those individuals who irritate you and learn what the universe is trying to teach you through them. You can gain insights from anyone who triggers your irritation. Take a moment to think about someone who currently gets on your nerves. It could be a family member, a colleague, or even someone on social media whom you don't know personally but can't stand. Consider why you feel this way. Remember that anger should only be invoked when truly necessary. Think of anger as a potent force, much like fire when viewed through a spiritual lens. In spirituality, our vibrational frequency reflects our inner state, our consciousness, and our harmony. When anger flares without restraint, it releases a disruptive energy that can significantly affect your vibrational state. Fire-like anger holds both constructive and destructive potential. When controlled and channeled effectively, Anger can become a catalyst for positive change. It can motivate you to address injustices, set boundaries, and even inspire personal growth. In this way, anger can be a tool for transformation, aligning with higher spiritual principles. When anger remains uncontrolled and unchecked, it disrupts your inner harmony and peace. This disruption leads to a lower vibrational frequency. Why does this occur? Anger often triggers negative thought patterns and emotions, such as resentment, hostility, and aggression. These lower vibrational feelings cloud your consciousness and create a barrier to spiritual growth. They hinder your ability to maintain inner peace and connect with higher states of awareness. Additionally, uncontrolled anger can lead to harmful actions directed both toward yourself and others. Words and deeds born of anger can generate negative karma further entangling you in lower vibrational energies. Let me share something important about anger. If you've ever struggled to control your anger, you're not alone. Sometimes it feels like it's deep within us, hard to manage today and in the future. But here's the beautiful truth. There's a time ahead when you'll naturally feel more positive and peaceful. Remember, emotions like anger don't come from the world around us. They come from inside us. While we can't control the external world or others, we can control ourselves. This applies to all emotions, not just anger. Whether it's excitement, happiness, joy, or even jealousy, they all reflect how we're doing inside. In the spiritual journey, it's about turning inward, discovering yourself, 
and finding inner peace. When you do that, you become the abundance master. And there you have it, dear seekers, the profound insights into our vibrational journey. If this video has resonated with you, if you found a nugget of wisdom that sparks a flame within, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more enlightening content. If you want to attract money easily starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientist. Your journey towards a higher vibrational state is unique and personal. Take a moment to reflect on the lessons shared today. How can you apply these teachings to elevate your own energy and consciousness? As we part ways for now, I encourage you to continue exploring, questioning, and evolving. Share this video with those you feel could benefit from its message, and let's build a community of individuals committed to raising their vibrations. Your comments are a treasure trove of shared experiences and insights. I'd love to hear about your journey, the challenges you faced, and the triumphs you've celebrated. Drop your thoughts below, and let's create a space for collective growth. Thank you for dedicating your time to this transformative exploration. Until our paths cross again, keep your vibrations high, your spirit light, and your heart open to the boundless possibilities that await. This is not the end. It's a new beginning. May your journey be filled with love, light, and continuous elevation. Farewell for now, and remember, you are the architect of your vibrational destiny. Stay tuned for more soul-nourishing content. Until then, stay blessed, stay curious, and keep soaring. Goodbye.